Howdy, it's Lemmy with Dorm Products here to talk to you today about our new Unlock Kit. So this kit is actually very reminiscent of the one I put together back when I worked on a Wrecker. And today I'm gonna run you through what's in the kit and how to use it effectively. So we're gonna zip right through this right now. The first item up here is the lock lifter tool. So this particular piece is plastic. It's got a little sandpaper in here for some grippiness. And this can be used to gain access inside of the vehicle to lift the lock post up. It's a tool I don't use often. It's almost never a go-to. and We're actually not gonna use it today, but you should know what it's there for. Now moving on, you can see we have the air wedge. Now the air wedge is kind of the heart and soul of any tow truck driver's unlock kit. This is actually the piece that allows us to make some space between the door and the frame of the vehicle to get tools in there to manipulate the lock and possibly get the vehicle open. Moving on from there, you can see we have plastic wedges. So the plastic wedges sort of serve to augment your air wedge. The air wedge is creating that space. The plastic wedges are a good way to sort of save your work. What these will let you do is drop some space in there and it lets you move the air wedge to a new part of the door in case you need more room. It also too takes some of the load off of your air wedge. So as soon as you get your air wedge in there, rather than have to worry about it leaking, you can drop your plastic wedges in there and everything kind of stays exactly where you need it. Moving on, you can see we have just your standard trim stick here. The trim stick is really good for getting past weather stripping or seals that you may find on doors and windows. Often those can be easily damaged. If you take a minute with the trim stick, you can keep from damaging the vehicle you're trying to unlock. Last but not least, of course, you have the unlock tool itself here. So this is, again, kind of part of the heart and soul of your kit. That's kind of an interesting tool. It has a lot of different uses. There's no specific way to use this. So I'm gonna show you a way to gain entry into this vehicle, but it's gonna be different for every year, make, model, situation, where the vehicle is, et cetera, et cetera. This tool is very powerful. Now notice here, at the end, you've got vinyl coating. This is to help you manipulate things inside of the vehicle. Now remember, there's a couple different ways to get into a vehicle on a modern automobile, right? You, you might be able to pop the lock if you can get there. You might be able to hit the unlock button. You may be able to manipulate the door handle and open it up and that will unlock the vehicle. You may also need to use this in order to pull keys out of the ignition if you've got a running vehicle there. So there's a couple different ways you can use this. Now you'll also notice the length of this thing. It's extremely long. In your kit, it's obviously gonna bundle down nice and short. I have ours assembled just in the interest of saving some time here, but the extra length can actually be pretty helpful. Now it can be tempting to run up to a vehicle and go to the left front door. That is a common area. However, it's not the only way to get into a door. There's all sorts of spots on a vehicle you can get in. For instance, on a pickup truck, that slider window back there, those are often really, really easy in order to get in. And the extra length of this now starts to make a lot of sense, I think, when you're, when you're looking at it from that perspective. Same thing with a rear door. You may be looking at a sedan or a wagon that has a little bit of window rolled down already. So that's a perfect opportunity to get in there where the extra length can really help you. So just be creative when you're actually using your unlock tool itself. Now, before we get ripping here, the legal team here at Dormer Products has informed me that I should ask you to please not do crime with this kit. So use this thing for lawful purposes only. Now let me show you how to get inside of a truck. Now I know I just told you there's all sorts of ways you can get into a vehicle. In this particular one, we're actually gonna use the left front. And the reason is up here. I noticed when I was looking at this thing, somebody's been into this once before. So since there's already some existing damage, this is gonna be an easy spot for me to start. You may wanna take a look at the vehicle you are working on and see if there is existing damage. If not, then just go to the next easiest place. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab that trim stick I had mentioned. We're gonna actually kind of get past this weather stripping here so we don't, we don't damage this seal. And this will help me get in and use my air wedge as well at the same time. So we're gonna create a little space there. I'm gonna work this puppy in. Now I've got this puppy in here, I can get rid of my trim stick for just a moment. So you'll notice this thing getting larger, of course, and now we're starting to lift off the door. And you can see here, as this thing comes out of there, we're gonna create that space we're talking about in order to move our tool in there to manipulate a little bit. All right, so I've used my plastic wedge up here to kind of save my work, as I mentioned. And I was a little too high to get in here and manipulate this. So I've moved my air wedge back down a little bit. Blow this back up some. Again, create a little bit more space. We'll see if that'll give us enough to work with. All right, so now we've gained access. And you can see I'm in here, now I'm gonna 
just sort of manipulate this. It looks like the door handle should be a nice easy spot. And again, we can use that vinyl rubber tip to kind of sneak down in there. So I'm gonna get this thing inside the handle just like yay. Now I feel like I've got this. Now before you go fishing, so to speak, and get this thing open, I'm gonna be prepared. All this stuff's gonna fall out when I pop the door open. That's to be expected. So just get ready for that when you're doing this. So now I appear to have this puppy. I'm gonna just try and get this thing open. And there you have it. You should pop right open. Now, of course, the job's not over. You've done the important part. You're inside the vehicle. Obviously, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you unlock the doors, grab those keys, but you also wanna check a couple other things out. Make sure you pick up all your tools, of course, and you wanna check the vehicle for damage as well. Make sure that that door still functions correctly. You can open and close it. You didn't actually permanently bend the door frame or the, or the vehicle itself. But getting into a vehicle really isn't all that difficult. Now you know how to do it with the Dorman Unlock Kit.